Now on to coffee. Canadians may soon be paying more for it. Executives at Tim Hortons, Canada's biggest coffee chain, hinted at a price hike. Christian Yeo reports from Toronto on the impact of more expensive coffee beans. It's an industry by some estimates worth $100 billion globally. The coffee business is booming. This year, 6.6 .6 million metric tons of coffee was exported, the second highest year on record. But the price of that morning cup of joe could be about to spike. Brazil, the biggest bean producer in the world, responsible for around a third of the world's supply, has been plagued by drought. And that's put a strain on supply, sending prices higher. The coffee industry has always had two challenges because it's not totally in control of the commodity prices. So the recent increase in commodity prices have been through combination of disease and weather and all the rest of um, Arabica beans have gone up 75% in the last five or six years. And when you don't control that, you're always nervously looking over your shoulders. October saw the price of coffee rise to its highest point in two years. Canada's biggest coffee chain, Tim Hortons, is warning that bean prices may affect the cost of a cup in store in 2015. But what about the impact on smaller independent stores? We get beans from Ethiopia, Kenya, in, in Africa, and then from South America, we get uh, Guatemalan, Costa Rican, uh, and Brazilian beans. Eugene and Michie Fung opened their first coffee shop in Toronto in June. When deciding on a roaster, they opted for quality over quantity. They already pay more than the average for their beans. Beans are pretty high class for us, so they're already kind of priced in a premium kind of way that it kind of resists, you know, any rises because they are pretty, they're not cheap. I think it's important to, to, to charge you know, what the product is worth. But again, we, know we have to be competitive. In that regard, we can't bring in too good of a bean, otherwise it wouldn't be, be, be worth pricing it that high. It's hard for anyone to compete on price with a chain like Tim Hortons or Dunkin' Donuts, so Eugene and Michier are aiming higher. Their customers don't come for a cheap brew, they come for a good one. Rising bean prices might affect the entire coffee industry, but it's expected to be felt most by the biggest players in the market, those chains that fiercely compete on the price of a cup. If they lose that pricing advantage, well, that could drive some of their customers to smaller independent coffee shops like this one. Christian Yeo, CCTV, Toronto.